What's up, everybody? My name's Danny Ferrari. This is Parker Ament. Right here. Parker, what's up, guys? Hi. We are Excellent Sound. Now I fucking clipped the mic. God damn it. We are Excellent Sound, and we're going to be showing you guys how to make Barely Alive's Odyssey, as requested by Trap, Trap, Travippa Lord. Trap Lord. Trap Lord. The guy who's whipping up crack in his fucking basement. Shout it out. Shout it out in our Shout last video. Uh, his name is capital T, capital R, lowercase v, uppercase P, space, uppercase L, lowercase X, uppercase R, lowercase D. Shout out to you, bro, and everybody that liked that comment. We are going to be doing request uh, as much as we possibly this is the can. the Trap Lord pose right here. Trap Lord pose. This one's for you, buddy. It sounds like this, guys. We're going to be making this part right here. <laughs> And that's our little rendition of it. Um, Fat rendition. Yeah, we're pretty much doing uh, two sounds in this for you guys. We'll be in the download description below, as per usual. And if you're part of Subs and Webs, you already got this shit. You already got this sneak right. peek. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to. We, we have to like remake it. So like the last, the last sound is just like something from Rhythm Ride. I just kind of put in there real quick because I didn't want to use too much of the song and I didn't want to make nine different presets. Yeah, uh, one, and do like one of the one video. shots. Yeah. So we're doing two sounds. We're going to do the main sound, which is the bass, which sounds like this. Pretty sick rhythm bass, right? This song's super sick. It's like uh, it's like 80s and shit. It's like... Dude, barely Alive is, is insane. Yeah, He's dude. super dope. Great producer. I When I was making sounds for a producer a long time ago, yeah. Um, when I first started, this producer told me, hey, uh, you need to go watch, look up Barely Alive. And I had no idea who they were. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And I was like, am I making Big Room? He's like, no, you're making dubstep, you pussy. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So I started <laughs> So I started watching Barely Alive, and they were doing tutorial videos. That's what I mean, they had songs out too, but most, yeah. the first, way I found out about them was through tutorial videos, and they're just amazing sound designers. So shout out Barely Alive. Awesome. Uh, what's the one that I met? What's his name? Um, fuck. The dude, the dude with the accent? No. The, I don't fucking know his name. Damn Jesus. it. Jesus. Barely Alive. Shout out to you, bro. Shout out. There's two of them. Yeah. There's two guys. But I don't understand one of them. It's like, you know, Boombox. They're like roommates, right? Yeah. The roommates with uh, Virtual Riot. Uh-huh. That's how I met him. Uh, Willie. That's his name. Willie. That's the one that I met. Um, and they like, one of them like will perform, the other one doesn't. I don't know. It's like Boombox. You know? Oh, yeah. Boombox where one of them like does all the studio shit and then one goes on tour. And if you know that him. why that is, let me know. In the comments down below. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and just, let's get into this. Uh, I'll show you a couple of things that we got going on here. I just use a kick from Rhythm Riot, which is out now. If you didn't already know. Now you know. I got Rhythm Riot right here. The kick sounds like this. Fat little kick. I just, I mean, his kick is pretty much the same thing. Uh, snare, it sounds like this. Another snare from Rhythm Riot. One of my favorite snares. I think you might have made this one. I don't remember. Um, it's fat. I can't remember. I like the little, the little texture at the end. Yeah, I love that. Um, so, yeah, you guys can go get that right now on our website at www.xlntsound.com. Rhythm Riot's out now. It's 50 bucks, 60 presets, 250 sounds, tons of signatures here. No, no signatures here. Uh, yeah, Rhythm Riot, all right there for you guys. Yeah. Go get it. And um, let's keep going on through uh, some of the elements of this. So the kick and the snare is pretty much just the kick on the one. And is this the two? Yep. Two, one, two, one, two. And then I'm using little bits in the song, which sound like this. Didn't fade it because I'm lazy in this little growl. Pretty sick. Just like little, looks like little white noise things. Uh, the bass, which I just showed you, which we're going to get into. And then I have a sub, which I'm using for the sub, is I'm just using Hip Hop Sub Bass. Uh, it's a preset in Ableton. It's a really great sub bass. You can add uh, overtone, saturation, whatever you want in it. Great little preset. Great little preset. And then we're also going to be making this little saw, which is very useful for you guys um, when you're using a lot of, like, when you're using your drops, like, you hear a lot of rhythm uh, or dubstep or any song, really. Skrillex does this a lot, too. They have, like, a really high-pitched kind of siren -y sound, and this is just the saw. It sounds like this create some tension but what's really nice and what parker found out is is in lower octaves oops it's a nice little reef space yeah it is kind of reesey isn't it oh it sounds like choiry but 
So we're gonna show you guys how to make that one. That one's super simple, but mainly what you're here for is this bass. It's pretty sick sounding. Oh yeah, dude. And if you guys didn't already know, we like to remake uh, the drop here on our channel. So if you guys uh, subscribed, that would be very helpful to us. Or if you already have subscribed, you're part of the 10,000 people that have subscribed. 10 motherfucking K. 10 K. What's up, guys? Suck a dick, haters. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank actually. you, guys. Yeah, you know this what? Is, After talking about the all, fuck the haters. Yeah. This Thank is, you. This is all because of you guys. Yeah. We're, we're super thankful for you guys, like the community, everything. You guys are super awesome. We love talking to you guys. We love learning from you guys. Yeah, dude. And we love teaching you guys, too. Yeah. It's so a great community. Thank you guys so much for, for getting us to 10K. Uh, it's pretty amazing. I never would have thought that would happen. <laughs> yeah, man. No. We, we fucking did it. But I did know it would happen because I'm... I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I am. Anyway, I got a new shirt on today. Look at that. Look at that just beautiful gentleman shirt. It's got a nice pocket right there. I got a pocket here for... Do I have a pocket? No. No, you don't have a pocket. You got nice little chains on, though. Yeah, dude. Nice little fucking chains. (laughs) That 10K is treating you well with your crystal chains, bro. All right, cool. Uh, So let's get into it. You don't want to hear me talk anymore. We're fucking around. Oh, uh, no, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this first sound. I'm going to do Shift-Command-T for a new a MIDI track. I'm going to take Serum. I'm just going to search that real quick. Am I in your way there, bud? Just a little bit. A little bit, dude? Sitting on my lap, dude. <sighs> I wish. <laughs> just went from 6 to midnight. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let me copy the MIDI. It's pretty much the same fucking note. Want to move this thing over here? What? Yeah, dude, move that like right, the movie cool. theater. Yeah, you're just like move, move the arm up. Or you got to slowly push the other person's so arm you away. can finger blast me in the yeah. movie. <laughs> dude, I am on one today. Okay, yeah, dude. Uh, let's take the effect rack. The effect rack's pretty crazy, uh, but what's cool about this sound is it actually sounds pretty cool without the effect rack, which I will show you um, later. But uh, so you can affect it in different ways you want. But this rack is in the download description below. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off for right now. And we'll close this bitch up. All right, let me go ahead and start. It sounds like this so far. Sick. Fuck yeah, dude. Okay, so Rhythm. first thing we're going to want to do is let's start with oscillator A. Oscillator A is going to be uh, digital, I think. Gritty. Digital gritty. I like this wavetable. I've been kind of playing with some uh, wavetables lately. I'm not going to lie. Usually pretty fucking gritty, dude. I'm usually pretty basic. Gritty. All right, cool. No more Starbucks for you, dude? No more Starbucks. Now, this is going to be kind of weird, but Gritty's going to go up to plus four octaves. Yep. I usually do it at zero, no but we're doing plus four. Man. Fuck yeah. Okay, this is also going to be at uh, eight waves of unison. Yep. So eight waves of unison. Detune is going to be at... 0. 0.06. 0.06. Thanks, Parker. On You're top welcome, of it. Dude. Wave table position all the way down. Uh, we're going to do FM from B for the warp mode. And then we're going to have this set to 70. Oops. Sev 6. Right there. That works. And then we're going to turn the level all the way down and leave everything the same. Next, let's go to oscillator B. Oscillator B is going to be basic shapes. When you're FMing, basic shapes are usually the best way to do that because they're simple waveforms. I've said that before in multiple videos. Uh, we're going to choose a uh, was it a sine wave. Yeah, it's a sine wave. Okay. And then we're going to do it to three waves of unison. Uh, and then the octave is going to be plus three. And then we're going to do uh, seven semitones. Yeah. And then we're going to turn the level all the way down. And detune. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we're going to set it to mirror for the warp. Mirror is really cool for like polysynths and stuff. Uh, it's really cool warp mode. But I wanted to use it. I want to use it more. And just leave it all the way down like that. That's looking good. Um, should be sounding. Oh, yeah, we don't have any sound yet. Um, okay, so that looks pretty good for that. Yeah, we're going to do the sub, too. The sub is a big, important part of this uh, sound. I do have a sub layer, but there's a reason why I have a sub layer, and I'll get into that later. Okay, so for the sub oscillator. Sub later. Sub later, dude. And speaking of sub, why don't you go ahead and hit a saturated sub right on that little button that says smash subscribe. That. Smash, smash that the fucking, fucking like button. And shove a comment up your ass, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. Let's do it. Subscribe. Yeah, please. Okay, so uh, sub is at zero. Turn the level all the way down. We still have no sound. Okay, 
Next, let's do the noise. We're getting everything set up. Noise, we're going to do uh, SH1 noise. What the fuck is that? Or Shit noise, dude. Shit noise, dude. <laughs> Probably hurt everyone's ears. Where is that? Is it an organic? Oh, it's an analog. 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 SH1. Why did I use this? I don't fucking know. Uh, one shot mode like that. And turn the level all the way down. Cool. Now we have still have no sound. Now let's make our first LFO. It's a quick little whip it. Whip it. Which, like this, like so, make it look like that. Our plosives are out of control on this vid. Your what? Plosives. Plosives? <laughs> oh, yeah. Pff, geez. That's why I have, an, we have little windscreens here. Yeah, dude, we these need little, another fucking layer, probably. These little uh, condoms. How do I fix this? How but do I make this tighten, more? Oh, they're yeah. so erect. Yeah, dude. Perfect. Nice, nice little twist there. Okay, put it on to uh, trigger for LFO one, and put it on a triplet mode, and then put it to uh, quarter trips. Quarter trips. Now nice. I'll start putting this on some shit. Let's put it on the level of oscillator A. Let's put it on uh, and have it go all the way up. Put it on the detune of oscillator A, and have that go to thirty toots. <laughs> thirty toots. Thirty toots. Um, go ahead and put it on the detune of oscillator B, but make sure you have it just go forward. So shift option or shift whatever click on Windows. <laughs> I always say Windows click <laughs> because the button on here is window, but I don't even yeah. know if that's what it is. It's option. Yep. And then uh, put it on the mirror for the warp mode of oscillator B, and that's going to be set to Sev's D's. Sev's D's. D's, dude. Let's go like this. Let's hear how it sounds now. Oops, that's not the one. This one. Just kind of white noise right now. Because it's super high octave. But that's going to change in just a second. How is that going to change, Danny? Because we're going to do some crazy shit. Okay? I'm fucking ready. But dude. first, I need to LFO some more ready? shit. I'm fucking ready, dude. Let's fucking do this. All right, I'm going to put this on the sub. LFO one on the sub to have it go to uh, 80 toots. Perfect. Put it on the uh, white noise. Have that go to right around there. 40? Four thirds. Four thirds. Perfs. Okay. Uh, let's hear how this sounds right now. It's probably not going to probably gonna sound the same. Cool. Um, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and add our filter. Our filter is going to be a band pass. If you guys haven't already seen our Q&A with company uh, at Icon Collective. Go watch it. Go watch that shit. Yeah. Um, he was talking about using a lot of band passes and how he uses a band pass before he actually uh, starts to affect it. And so he can bring the highs kind of back in because band passes can give you like a really nice sharp whip, but you're losing a lot of highs because you're cutting the lows and the highs. Yeah. So we're going to use a multi and we're going to use uh, band 12. Wait, no. Where is that? Oh, no. Miscellaneous. Wait, where is it? Norms. It's in norms? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Norms, bands, 12. Uh, make sure you got the noise. What? Go ahead. You say I was going to say, is, and then the band kind of creates the tone. Yeah. Right? It's boosting that frequency, which we're going to do right now. We're going to boost the resonance uh, up to like almost about halfway. Uh, resonance to like 46. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I like to put B on here, even though it doesn't make a difference. It makes me feel better. Uh, I'm going to put the cutoff of filter to uh, 141 hertz. can never get it exact. 143. All right, fine. And then have it go almost all the way up, but a little back to 49 is what we're looking for. Let's see how this is sounding. <laughs> kind of sounds like that. Uh, let's get that shit louder. Let's turn the drive up just a smidge to like 7%. And then we're going to turn the fatness up to like 30 toots. Yeah. Cool. Um, I think we're going to start hearing some stuff when we start actually adding the effects. Um, the way that this sound came about is it's not like I started with this and I'm like, yeah, this sounds really cool. The way that it kind of sounded was like I had already made um, a preset. And what I did was I uh, started altering that preset a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more till I got the sound. And then when I was going through the sound, I realized that I had most of the sound is actually coming through the sub and the effect chain, which we're about to load right now. So just explaining that to you guys. So a lot of times it's like it's not like I'm like hearing something out of this. A lot of times it's like I've already made something and then I'm altering it to sound 
close to the original. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Um, you, you want me to make the LFO first, yeah, Parker? Yeah, okay, let's make our LFOs. And then, we'll, and then we'll go back. So LFO 2, it's going to go like that. Um, put it on trigger and set it to quarter. And that's going to go on the wavetable position. Okay, all the way up, just like that. So it's going to cycle all the way through the wavetable position. Cool. Let's keep moving. Uh, LFO 3 is going to be very similar, just like this, except we're going to shorten it. It's going to be like that. And this is for the master tune, I believe. Set this to trigger and put it onto half, like so. Because when I heard the original, it goes, row, row. so that's kind of what I did here. Uh, we're going to mess with that in a second. And then LFO 4 is going to be like this. Uh, turn off BPM, I believe. Yeah. And put it to 2,000... 22.9 hertz 22.9 hertz all right around that that works okay and they're going to put this on the the fine tune of both and i think it's at 100 percent um right yeah they are yeah so just throw them on there like that let's see how this is sounding i was hearing some shakiness in the sound so that's why i was kind of doing that and then uh that's it for the lfos so let's get into the effects we can start actually hearing some shit so effects i'm going to go ahead and load the chain Load effect chain. Uh, what did I call it? That's the barely saw. Barley alive. Barley alive, dude. Are you barley alive today? I fucking saved it, dude. Where the fuck is it? There's barley. Barley saw. There's barley. Bar <laughs> barley Oddie. Where? Right there. Who the fuck is calling you, dude? Oh. I gotta get this. You gotta. Oh yeah, you gotta yeah. go run. Keep going. Okay, cool. I'm gonna keep moving. Don't worry. I don't need Parker. I'm fine. Uh, yeah, cool. So let's gonna go ahead and load this effect track real quick. Oh my god, I have the spotlight all to myself. Everybody, say fuck Parker in the comments. Fuck Parker. Type F for Parker. Fuck you, Parker, dude. <laughs> it's my it. show. Finally. I'm just kidding. All right, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is, uh, I got my effect chain here. I'm going to go through one by one, pretty simply, what they're doing. So, a lot of things on here. Turn all these off. Turn on the, I'll turn off the multiband. Okay, so hyperdimension is going to be the first thing we're going to do. I have the hyperdimension. Uh, the rate is set to 40. Detune is at 73. Hyperdimension's at, uh, sorry, the hyper's at 0% mix. Dimension's at 15%, and the mix, uh, sorry, the size is at 15, and the mix is at 52 so what we're going to do is we're going to throw some LFOs on this bad boy real quick. Let me just see which ones. Okay. So LFO 1 is going to go on the detune of the hyper dimension. The hyper hyper kind of adds like, uh, I think it adds like uh, more unison to it and actually a lot more spread. So this is going to be set to 44. So let's go ahead and put it like that. And then I'm also going to be putting it on the mix knob and have the mix knob go to around right above the little uh, knob. So at 31 is what we're looking for. 31. Let's see how this is uh, sounding so far. Just kind of spreading it. Now we're going to add the diode. The diode's going to do a lot. So the diode distortion is a really heavy distortion. Also learn that from the company Q&A. If you haven't seen that, make sure you guys watch that because it's a really, really great uh, Q&A. So I'm going to go ahead and add LFO1 to the drive, and I'm going to pull it back a smidge to around, uh, what I got it at? 61. Make sure also, too, I forgot to mention that uh, you have this filter mode on in uh, in the, the distortion plugin, uh, sorry, the distortion effect, and put it on pre. We're basically adding another filter right here so that we can actually modulate, and that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to modulate uh, this filter to move for us. And that's going to be set to, I have it set to 100. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on this frequency knob. Set that to 100. Let me make sure I got that right. Damn, it's scary without Parker. I'm so, I, I was talking all this shit. I'm kind of sad. Yeah, it's at 100. Okay, cool. And then also put it on the mix knob and pull the mix knob back to 56 is what we're looking for. There we go. See, that's doing a lot. And that sub right here from before, earlier, is actually, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, is actually uh, coming through the distortion right there. So that sine wave is coming through and making it sound really nice and chunky. 
I mean, it's kind of just like a, a sine wave, really. Now that I think about it, it's kind of just like a sine wave with like a bunch of effects. And also the top end, like these oscillator A and B are kind of used as like texture, I guess is kind of what I'm doing. Um, okay, so let's keep moving. Next, I added a flanger. This is kind of get it to be a little bit more metallic. Uh, there's no modulation on this. The rate is at 0.08. Depth is at 14. Feedback is at 19. Phase is at 180. And mix is at 72. It sounds like this. It's kind of giving that more rhythm-y sound. Next, I added a phaser. As Parker would like to say, a phaser at zero hertz. Depth at 21, frequency at 210, feedback at 17, uh, phase at 180, mix at 15. Bro, Dude. it's it's not, you know, I talked all this shit while you were gone about saying fuck you in the chat. Are you fucking serious, dude? I know, dude, I'm sorry. You know why? Because I just, I was so uncomfortable. I got so scared. Oh, no, dude. I pissed myself. It's okay. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Two fingers on the side. Two hey guys, if your friends are ever, if you're ever, if your friends ever having a hard time, just do what Parker does and just go ahead and put three fingers on the on the riblet right just there. The, just the three riblets, dude. You'll feel comforted. Instantly. Then you'll feel great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're on the phaser. Um, whoa, why is yours different? No, that's yeah. Sorry, no phaser is right. Okay, so rates at zero, depth at twenty one, frequency at two ten, feedback at seventeen, phase at one eighty, and mix at fifteen percent. Next, uh, let's hear that sounding. You came back wired and started to actually sound this like something. Great, dude. Okay, next we're gonna add a chorus. This is kind of to get like a little bit of a metallic -y sound, and we're gonna do more metallic -y sounds after this. Rate all the way down, delay one at zero, delay two at 1.9 milliseconds, depth at 6.6, .6, feedback at 64, low pass filter at one, basically all the way up, and mix knob all the way down. I don't know why I did that. Filter. See if you turn that up. Be a nice for like a macro. Yeah. So that's see. This is essentially doing what the next effect is doing. It's kind of the same thing in a sense because that's what a chorus is like a really quick delay, mm -hmm. right? Kinda. So it sounds yeah, kind of. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So that was my thought process on it. Cool. Delay. Next, I went ahead and I put on the delay at 23 for the feedback. I linked them and I put uh, left at 19.59 and right at 19.59. Filter looks like this. Set to ping pong and mix at 30%. This makes it really metallic. <laughs> kind of a cool little trick. I've been doing that a lot lately. Um, I also have some uh, lfo edge going on here too. I went ahead and put it on the feedback knob. And I pulled that back to 49, like so. And then I went ahead and also put it on the mix knob about halfway. Right, Parker? Yep. About 19 is the number you're looking for. And then modulating these knobs can give you some really interesting stuff, too. Okay, hi. Uh, next is we have a filter, a HN12, which stands for a high-pass notch filter, I believe, with 12 dBs at the Q. Cutoff is at 85, resonance all the way down, drive all the way down, frequency at 68, pan at 50, and mix all the way up. Let's turn that on. And then I have this LFO 1 on uh, the cutoff, shift option, click it, and pull that down to like 50. And then we're going to go ahead and also put this on the resonance. So the resonance is going to also modulate up. It's going to add a little bit of peak towards the very end of the sound at this point. Give it a little bit more uh, whippity, whip it. Whip it. And then also put it on the frequency and put that to four so it's barely moving. Cool. Next, I went ahead and added an EQ. I'm basically duplicating what this is kind of doing. Uh, frequency is at 112. Q is at 60. Gain is at 9.4 with a low cut. Uh, and then I have a little notch boost uh, at 380, Q at 60, and gain at 7.1. I went ahead and put this on uh, the frequency knob, and I have that kind of going up to 28. I also have it on the frequency knob of the, the little uh, notch right there, and that's set to 11. Let's hear how this is sounding. That's doing a lot. Cutting those lows out. And then, of course, lastly, uh, a compressor multiband. I like kind of doing the multiband at the end lately. 
um, because, well, it depends. Um, I want everything to sound really big, and then I might process after. But usually, in, a lot of times, when I'm making a lot of sounds, I usually multiband at the end to kind of just... Yeah, it's hard because you kind of want to like vibe it at right. the same time, but you can't because then it'll it'll kind of give you a false sense of where you are. Basically, anything I put after a multiband is going to be like 10 to the 10th power. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's like a little nug and nudge right there. <laughs> Especially after a reverb. Um, when you add an OTT or a multiband compressor, it's going to um, accentuate the effects that are in Serum. Uh, if you add it at the very end. So whatever you're adding it after and chain wise is going to actually make that a lot more um, pr prevalent. What's the word I'm looking for? Like noticeable. Yeah. Noticeable. Like if I put it up here, like let's hear, I'll show you an example. I'm going to turn it on real quick. Thresholds at minus 17.6 ratios at four over one attack is at uh, whatever. 97 doesn't fucking matter. Releases at 90 gain at 11 and mix at 92. It's so if I put it like up at the very top, it's not, yeah. it's not, it's not it enunciating it. it, right? It's kind of like adding an OTT in the audio effect rack essentially is what we're doing. But yeah, that's it's really why it's for those band passes, right? I mean, that's right. what you've got to get those band passes up. Exactly. So it's bringing everything back up to like a, a good listenable level. I like to think of. So, at, I mean, if there's no wrong place to put it, but I do recommend putting, uh, if there's an effect that you really want it to come out a lot more, yeah. add a multiband compressor. That would be the nug of notch right totally. there. Smoke that Smoke shit. Smoke that shit, dog. Okay, it smells, it smells, sounds like this. It smells like notch. And that by itself is already a sick sound. If you just want to add like an OTT or saturator after that, it's a pretty sick sound. But we try to get it to sound more like barely live. Yeah. Um, next, let's go ahead and do some more LFOage. Um, okay, so LFO1 is good. Uh, wait, I got one more thing on LFO. Uh, one put it on the uh, the freak, yeah. You're good. I think this is good, right? There's one more thing I gotta put it on. Oh, the phaser, the phaser. Okay. Is it on the frequency? It's on the feed, yeah. On the feedback. Okay, so I have it on the feedback. Go back to your phaser and put it to like it's barely doing anything. Four. Yeah, this is gonna make all the difference in the world, Danny. <laughs> cool. And then we did, did you got all, all the distortion stuff? Yeah, I got all that left? stuff. That's good. Okay, next, let's go into uh, LFO3. We're going to put LFO3. We're going to go to the matrix mode, and we're going to put this on. Uh, we're going to say, hey, over here, the source would be LFO3. So we're going to say, hey, LFO3, I want you to affect the hey, destination, right which is master tune. If you guys have a hard time understanding that, I mean, just think about what an LFO is doing and read, right? Reading will always help you. Manual also is, is very good for that. I wish you had a, a little bit more visual way, uh, which is what Serum is really great at, is having yeah. the visual sense of actually doing um, what you're doing. Uh, but some things like in the Matrix, they can only be done in the Matrix. Um, but understanding this is a very important part of sound design. So source, LFO3. I want LFO3 to affect what? The destination. This knob would essentially be how much of that destination do I want it to affect? So in this case, I have it set to two. Yeah, two. So it's going. So basically, it's going to start from two semitones and go down. And then this is just like shift option or shift windows clicking uh, right here. That's what that's doing, right? And I have this actually going. You hit enter because that fucking thing. Yeah, this one's going both ways. So left to right, both. Kind of like us. Biodome. I've said that joke before. Biodome, yeah. Cool. It's pitching down. LFO4 looks good. All right. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, let me go back to the oscillator page and make sure I got everything. Let me ask Dad. Yeah, I think we're pretty we're pretty good. Yeah, pretty cool sound by itself. I think this mirror does a lot. Can I... Um... Yeah, I like the mirror a lot. I'm going to start playing with that with FMing. Um, a little bit more. Really sick sound. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and let's keep moving it. Um, this video is already too long. So I'm going to go ahead and add uh, the audio effect track, and I'm going to go through and explain what's going on. So first things first, what I have here is... Let me turn all this shit off. 
so you can hear what it's doing. I didn't EQ it, but fuck it, it sounds fine. Yeah, just butt fuck it. I have a gate, yeah, just butt fuck it. <laughs> I have a gate on to to deal with the noise of the OTT, which I'll add once I add that. So first I had a simple delay. The same thing, I'm kind of adding the little metallic-y kind of uh, weird sound. So I put it to, uh, I turned on to time, so you click this button to, to off the sync. And I say, hey, left side delay at 10.3 milliseconds, right side delay at 15 milliseconds. Super short. Super short delay, 64% for the feedback, 27 for the dry wet. <laughs> then I added a chorus to do this kind of the same thing right here. I kind of realized that you got uh, the same kind of thing that you can you can do with this is you can kind of do with a chorus, except I have a little bit more filtering options. So high pass is at uh, 35.6. Uh, 1.166 milliseconds, 1.166 milliseconds, and then I have this little button click which links them together. Um, cool. Frequency, the amounts at 2.30, and the rates at 1.81. Dry wets at 30 toots, and feedbacks at 41. I've been kind of like really getting an understanding of like certain effects, and then realizing that I can make those same either filters or effects in uh, just using Ableton. You know what I mean? This is yeah. like what Serum's delay, like that little Serum delay trick that I'm doing, except they're not linked together. And then the same thing with the chorus. It's like this is doing the same thing as this, except it's adding a little bit of different options. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Um, next I have... <laughs> Sounds pretty nice. Next I have a corpus uh, set to tube. Tune is at six one six. 3.91 make sure you change this to whatever the key of the song is uh or whatever the, the key that you're playing this is an e because it's very resonant uh decay is down to 79 radius is at 37 dry wet is at 33 and the width is at 60 percent the super makes it kind of thinned out which is really nice yeah um next i have erosion on here erosion i just wanted to add some white noise to it uh, erosion, uh, you can add just regular noise or white noise. So I just wanted to dirty it up a little bit. Uh, 10.7 kilohertz width at 1.30, amount at 11.7. <laughs> Adds a little bit of dirt to it. And then next I added like a reverb. I was trying to use this more like a, um, kind of like a same thing, like a really short delay. So I kind of have a little filter like this. You can put on low and high cut pre-delay at 2.2. Uh, milliseconds shape at 0.5 this is all stock uh, this is where I got kind of uh, creative um, I was just trying to messing with audio effects to get different type of uh, effects I guess from it yeah, rather no, than just sure. what they're used for you know what I'm yeah, saying totally so the decay is really short um, and the dry wets at 29 this is essentially like what a reverb filter is like yeah. it's just it's just the way that the settings are <laughs> Kind of it kind of goes kind out. Of makes it sound like this, but you yeah. can hear that the the short decay. Exactly, and then the same thing after that. I'm adding a OTT, um, basically just having the highs, mids, and I pulled up a lot of lows in this one because, like I said, this, this this the main thing in the sound is the actual sub oscillator, which is kind of a different way of going about it. Uh, highs, mids, and lows pulled up. You just click it like that. Everything's stock at eighty percent. Now it sounds like this. <laughs> And then I added uh, a little bit of reverb, um, low and highs cut. I just want to I just want to have this part be uh, reverberationed, 2.5 milliseconds. All this is stock basically, and I just turned down the dry wet to 17. percent I really then, like the combo of corpus and uh, the reverb. Yeah, kind of added a, that right? a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, adding little things to try to get more out of your sound is a really good way to sound design. Trying to add uh, a, a reverb, not to use it as a reverb, to try to get it to change the actual sound of it, to get it to sound more metallic or more, I always say metallic, but more springy, more, um, what's another good word? Uh, shiny. Shiny. Uh, and then I added a gate just to keep that OTT under control because it gets really loud and powerful. This is pretty much basic. You guys can do that. Just pull the threshold down. Um, and that's pretty much it. That audio effect rack is in the download description below. So make sure you guys grab that. All together sounds like this. <laughs> and then I have a sub, which is. Like I said, hip hop sub bass. Uh, you guys can add that. And the reason why I did add that is because by the end of it, everything's there's not a lot of sub frequency in this. There is, 
but it's almost like it's because it's not going to direct out in serum it's not uh, it's getting affected by all these sounds and there's like filters on a bunch of stuff so we're losing low end yeah so i could eq it and cut it out and probably really try to mix it really well uh, which is probably what I should have done. We need one more oscillator. Fuck it. I mean, everybody, one more oscillator. <laughs> everybody wants like a mixing and mastering tutorial, and if you guys really want that, somebody commented. If it gets a bunch of likes, then we'll we'll do something. Yeah. But uh, basically, uh, low cut probably would be around right here. Is pretty much what I would do. Still has the low mids. Right, because I still want that sub to make that. Uh, it's a big part of the sound. That actually sounds better now. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm just I'm just going to where it sounds because my sub is already here, right? I know that my sub's landing there, and if I really wanted to get detailed, I would take out the highs of my sub and I'd go like this. And I just want to get that sound to right. Find find the crossover point exactly. All right, cool. And you guys notice too that he's looking for the crossover point. He's not sucking it out. He's not doing the cliffhanger. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He's doing the the, the crossover. I've That's been, super important, man. Yeah, I've been I've been changing my EQs a lot. Usually I do like a really hard cut like that. Yeah. And I've been kind of noticing on certain things where I'm like, ah, like uh, try like you end up. There's not enough the glue scene. too. Right. You, exactly. It They're not meshing too together. Much. Yeah. Yeah. And you end up doing, you end up getting in the habit of thing, which is good because that makes you get your own sound or whatever. But try breaking your own habits because sometimes you'll you'll end up making your stuff sound better. Like in that case, I'm like, hey, it sounds kind of silly, but I'm like, hey, like I always do a very hard cut on my low end. Yeah. What if I start doing it like this? That little alteration might make my mix sound just a little bit better. If I get out of that headset of just thinking oh, I do this every time. This is what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? No yeah, I usually, I usually am like sucking out my low mids because I fucking hate, I usually hate them 250 to 300. Right. I'm always sucking that shit out. But like recently I started like figuring out like, oh, instead of, you know, sucking it out, let's figure out what's going on down there. Exactly. And, and keep it there, but, you know, fix the problems instead of just taking it all out. Exactly. And just changing up what you do, switching it up to you. The only way you're going to be able to find something new or discover something new is by changing your old habits. Right? I love 300 hertz now. 300 hertz, dude. That's my fifth. 300 feels great. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and last thing we're going to do is we're going to make this saw. It's going to be super simple and then we'll fucking dip out of here and talk about some Dippage. real cool shit at the end of the video. So far, it sounds like this. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Okay, so this saw is pretty simple. Uh, we have it set to a nine waves of unison. Um, just like that. This is a good little thing to add in your songs, like a very top layer. It's very quiet. Uh, Detune is going to be pushed back a little bit to like 18. That's fine. Uh, level, leave it like that. LFO 1, go ahead and put that on the fine tune and kind of pull it down to like 58. That's probably good. And then turn off, uh, do I have the BPM turned off? Yes, I do. Yeah. Turn off the BPM and turn it down to like 5.6. And this is going to shake the fine tune. <laughs> right? It's already pretty cool as it is. Do it again. Yeah, lower is really nice. And then you can make it like a virtual riot. I turned the tournament of what you can, whatever you can make a lead out of it. Yeah. So that's pretty much it for that page, right, Park? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Lastly, uh, not lastly, but you're gonna add uh, some effects. I'm gonna go ahead and load effect rack, and I have it saved here. Oops. Load effect chain. My bad. My bees. Um, barely saw is what I called it. Bam. Explain a little bit. I'm trying to get a little bit more in depth about why I do certain things, and let me know if you guys like that style. I like that style. Like why? Why my head is thinking? Because I used to always wonder that with certain. Like, why did you do that? You know, and most people are like, I don't know, I just fucking did it. But I'm yeah. trying to like really get into the mindset of like, what was I thinking when I was doing something like this? So yeah, for sure. If you guys like that, let us know. Um, okay, so for the hyper, first thing you got is a hyper dimension with the rate at 40%, detune at 25, mix at 52, adding more unison here, uh, size at 50, and mix at 41. So it spreads it out. <laughs> Next, I got some distortion to dirty it up. Just a stock tube with the drive at 35. Mix at 100. Uh, it gets a little dirtier. Sounds like this. 
brings it out a little bit more. Uh, next, I have a reverb set to haul size at 35, decay at 2.7, low cut all the way down, high cut at 35, spin at 25, spin depth at 20, mix all the way up, turn that on. It kind of puts it more in the in the background, yeah. which is kind of why I did that. Uh, and then lastly, I have a low cut here just to cut off some of the highs because I wanted it to be sit more in the background a little bit more like how the original was. Low cuts at 330, resonance all the way down, drive all the way down, fat all the way down, pan halfway, mix at 100. Great. Just in the background. Super backgroundy. And that's pretty much it, folks. It sounds like this all together. <laughs> Pretty sick. Yeah. It's a good little sit for you guys to have there. So make sure you guys go ahead and grab that in the download description below. In the double D. Hopefully you guys learned something. Put in your request in the comments. Uh, we are trying to do a lot more requests. Uh, we're going to do some more. Uh, we heard a lot of people responded really well to the uh, mid-tempo stuff. Yeah. Uh, so if you guys have any specific mid-tempo guys besides like 1788, we already did that. But any mid-tempo new stuff that's out, we're interested in doing some of that. Yeah, we like that. Kid. Yeah. Uh, Rez. All right, that good stuff. Even like that Getter Visceral track was like kind of like uh, mid tempo. Had some vibes in there. Um, if you guys didn't see our remake on that, we did the intro synth, and we might do the drop if it gets enough people interested. Yeah, if in you it. guys really want it, yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll do it. We started it, but we got to really dial it in. Um, and then also too, if you guys want to see like more like poly synth type of stuff like this, like with stuff that's not always just like growls and, and basses, because sound design is more than just that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Instead of the bro sounds like yeah. that, you know. The exactly. Nice, the, the the more colorful stuff. And like a good little like nug and nodge that I want to recommend to you sound designers out there and producers to help you guys <laughs> is I feel that. like uh, a good challenge for yourself is to actually try to make a song and let's say let's let's start off with just you can take drums or whatever samples. Yeah. You can use our samples, obviously. obviously. Excellentsound.com. Go get them now. <laughs> um you can uh try to make an entire track or even just like a little part. Uh, you know, if, if you can make the drums, that's great. Do the drums is going to help you, but try to make the entire track from all sounds that you've made. Yeah. And that's something that I was like really proud of when we did like all our, uh, you know, our packs like future bass or cartel or, uh, rhythm riot, uh, or dub sauce. It's like, I, I never really made an entire song where I made every single instrument from scratch. Yeah. And that's a really cool thing. And that will really show you guys a lot. So I encourage you guys to do that. Even if it's just like an eight bar loop, like make the effects, make the saws, make yeah. the basses, make the drums if you can. Um, but I think that that's a really, really great, uh, way f to help you, uh, learn sound design and don't expect it to be good. Just do it, right? Just do it because it's, it's yeah, learning sound it, design. It'll, it'll, it'll help you, uh, kind of notify yourself where, like with what your problems are, you exactly. know, and then you'll, you'll notice like, Hey, like, why are my kicks? Like, not like these other samples, you know, right. then you're going to go back and be like, Oh, well, why is it? And right. then you figure it out and then you're making new kicks and it's, it's, and it's thumping, you know? So definitely, definitely huge right there. Good little recommendation for you yeah. guys. But we want to talk about some great things that are coming up for you guys. Um, so beginning of the month. Yes. We have top very, of the month, you guys. Top of the month. We have a very nice little surprise for you. So Super cool stay surprise. tuned. Make sure you guys are subscribed and you're joined uh, on our Facebook sub and webs if you want all the stuff early. Also, we are starting a Discord. Yep. Uh, we need help with that. We've had a couple of people reach out and say they want to help us. We're retarded. We don't know how to do or I shouldn't say that. Uh, we're not smart. At, damn it. I'm fucking up. <laughs> Please don't roast We me. haven't messed with Discord. I haven't messed with Discord. We okay? haven't had time to go in really in depth into yeah. it. Check it out. Get it all set up. So, so we want some help with that. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for the first of the month. Uh, also, uh, we have a uh, winner of the 10K giveaway of all of our packs. Yes. Can I say their name? Say it. Say it. Lucas Cross. Oh, yeah. You did it, buddy. Congrats. 10 all, motherfucking K, dude. All of our packs. Absolutely free yep. for hitting 10K. All of them. Thank you guys so much. I think we're going to do a contest or something. other, Some more types of giveaways because 10,000 is fucking crazy. Yeah, it's awesome. We're, we're going to be doing a bunch of cool stuff. Just stay tuned for September. September is going to be really huge for us. Yeah. It's going to be huge for you guys. We're going to be doing lots of contests, lots of events, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of cool stuff. 
And if you guys want to see any other type of videos us do besides like remakes, uh, we, we have some other ideas we've talked about. Um, Hot dog eating contest, <laughs> you know, chicken nugget challenge, whatever, like drop challenges. We were thinking about doing something like that. Yeah. Um, also, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. We're going to be, if you guys want to, I saw somebody say something about like a, a Q and a, um, I don't know if you guys are really interested in that. Uh, let us know in the comments below, and we'll do like a Q and A. Yeah, what we haven't we haven't done a, a Q and A since uh, since company. Yeah, you don't. Well, about like us specifically. Oh, about us. You like us. like if they want to ask us specific questions about like I don't know how big our minds are. Minds are. You yeah. Know? Or how large our brains. You know how old are we? Yeah. I'm 19. I'm 17 and a half. There you go. So there's the first answer. So yeah, if you guys want any stuff like that, uh, you get the point. Go ahead and uh, put it down in the comments below. Uh, if you guys want to hit us up for production inquiries, info at XLNT Sound. Uh, we do production, mixing, mastering as well. Uh, for mentoring, we have that on our website. It's www.excellentsound.com. Yep. You can feel free to email us if you have specific questions for that too. We will do our best to get back to you. We've been doing a lot of lessons lately. A man. lot of lessons, bro. Yeah. So, a lot of lessons, awesome. a lot of productions, mm -hmm. a lot of mix and masters. A lot of know. stuff. And some studio people have been running out the studio here. Yep. Uh, we also do that here. If you're in the LA area and you want to uh, book some time to use the studio, uh, our mentor uh, and lesson sessions are in the studio mm -hmm. also. But uh, if you want to like actually use the gear and be able to uh, maybe track a vocalist or whatever, uh, track a band, uh, we have all that stuff here. As yeah, you if can you're tell. in LA. If you're in Nevada, yeah, wherever, just Arizona. come down. We'll work it out. Um, what else? Oh, uh, we have a bunch of free downloads on our website. If you didn't already know, do we get that? They're, they are getting stacked. Do we get stacked. that thing? I, September. Okay, September. September. So, uh, yeah. So on our website, we're gonna have, uh, like I said, we already have tons of free stuff uh, down there. So if you guys don't want to buy anything, just go get it. And if you guys, oh, I guess I was supposed to say this before, but if you already took our shit and left, <laughs> yeah. later. Get the um, I really want to say too for ten thousand. I don't want to keep going on and on and on, but really that really means a lot. I see. Uh, I would say ninety nine percent of our comments are always positive, and we see all of them. Uh, we try to comment back to a lot of them. You see me commenting or excellent sound commenting back. Yeah. Uh, we just really want to thank you guys for allowing us to be able to do this. Uh, it's been our dream to be able to make music uh, and just get you know make a living out of it totally man um and you guys are are helping us do that and hopefully you know we like we just want to give back as much as we possibly can so thank you guys um for all like the the one percent hate comments that we do get whatever here and there um it makes me just go back and appreciate all the people that are sending out love yeah so, man for real i encourage that to you guys too is uh if anyone's ever like hating on you or like talking shit or whatever like think about all the people that are actually that actually love you or encourage you and focus on those people focus the energy towards them and not the fucking haters yeah focus on the positive you know yeah. you don't you never know what other people's situations are you exactly. know if they're being negative there could be something that they're going through in their life you know don't take it personally. Exactly, and I like I caught like I caught myself like reading like a like whatever like a bullshit comment about someone saying we suck or something. Yeah, and like getting like oh like I want to respond like hey like fucking suck a dick Tuesday, bro. Yeah, like but for every time I see that I go you know what I want to go respond to somebody that actually fucking cared to write something really nice. Yeah, man, the sub and lovers. Yeah, and if you don't if you don't like it that's cool too. You don't have to like it. Just don't be a fucking dick. Yeah, just don't spread hate. Yeah, spread love, spread people. Spread love, guys. July fifteenth, love dies, uh, hate arrives. Wait, no, what was the Fousey tube <laughs> thing? He fucked up. Anyway. So uh, I believe I nailed everything there. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next one. Let's go ahead and play this bitch out. Thank you, Baker. Thanks, Bakes. <laughs> Where's the drum set? Oh, dude, we've had so many fans of drum set. Did you know that? I know, dude. A real big fan epic, of drum set, dude. dude. Yeah. Maybe drum set will make another appearance. Maybe live drum sesh, dude. Live drum sesh. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Oh,